Taylor Swift has dispelled any hopes that the era's tour would receive an extension into a third calendar year with additional dates in 2025. She has stated that her global tour will indeed conclude with its currently planned final dates in North America in December of this year. Performing on the 100th date of the tour on Thursday night, the first night of a weekend engagement in Liverpool, Swift made the declaration. Despite having six months left on the tour, she observed that the realization of its final finiteness was only beginning to set in. For me means this is the very first time I've ever acknowledged to myself and admitted that this tour is gonna end in December, she remarked, marking the 100th show. That's all there is to it, Swift released a brand new 31-song album in April called The Tortured Poets Department, which is thought to have been recorded primarily or fully during her breaks from the road. It is possible that Swift is exaggerating when she says the tour has taken up all of her time since it started in Arizona in March 2023. On Sunday, when the next set of chart results are released, the album is predicted to spend an eighth week at the top of the Billboard 200. Along with the $261 million grossing Gira's tour movie, she has also released two deluxe re-recordings, Speak Now, Taylor's version, and 1989. Taylor's version, since the tour began. Industry insiders predict that by the time Swift's tour concludes in December, the overall revenue will have surpassed $2 billion, despite the fact that her management has not yet disclosed any box office earnings. Elton John's Farewell Yellow Brick Road, which brought in $939 million over the course of five years, will likely finish as the closest runner-up. On August 20, Swift will play the second of two shows at London's Wembley Stadium to round off her European tour. Then, she is expected to take a break from touring before making her way back to American stadiums in November for the first time since late 2023. She will perform in just three American cities, Miami, Indianapolis, and New Orleans, before wrapping up the tour with six shows in Toronto and three in Vancouver in late November and early December. The latter Canadian city has set December 8 as the final date. Important information directly from the department head. This December, often known as Sagittarius season, Taylor Swift is formally wrapping up the era's tour. She will likely do it in Vancouver, the last planned location. Sorry to anybody who was clowning for a second U.S. leg. Swift subtly disclosed on Thursday that there won't be any more era's dates, at least not until 2025, during her 100th performance in Liverpool. Swift stated during her All Too Well, 10-minute version, speech, this is the very first time I've ever acknowledged to myself and admitted that this tour is going to end in December like that's it. It feels like we just played our first show on this tour, but it also feels like that far away from now. Since March 2023, Swift has been bopping through all of her eras, including the tortured poets department. She definitely has to catch up on some needlework work after giving a 3.5-hour concert for two years. In her remarks, she went on, This tour has really taken over my entire life. It now controls everything. I believe I used to have hobbies but I can't remember what they were because all I do when I'm not performing live is sit at home, try to come up with creative acoustic song mashups, and consider what kind of music you might enjoy. I also dream about performing live again with you guys, for the final part of the tour, at least, she will know how to do it with having a shattered heart.